Good morning everybody, I hope you are all okay and having a really fab day. Now, before you watch this video, you need to have made sure that you've watched the other one about birds, because in the other video, I've talked to you all about the different things that birds eat, okay? So you need to watch that one first, before you watch this one, because this one is all about making our own bird feeders. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can feed the birds if you already have a bird feeder. Then Mrs. Binding is going to show you how to make your own bird feeder using Cheerios. And I'm also going to insert a little clip of somebody making their own recycled bottle feeder as well. So you've got a choice of what you'd like to do. Now, why are we doing this? Because we're, we care about our wildlife and we care about the birds. And in the winter time, it's really hard for them to find the food. We're also preparing for the RSPB Big Bird Watch Garden Project in the next couple of weeks, aren't we? Okay. Now, I thought it would be really fun as well to say that we are creating our own cafe for the birds because we're providing food for them, aren't we? So what you could also do, and this is a star challenge, is create your own menu. So you could write a little menu for the birds, tell them what they can have to eat, and maybe you could stick it on the window or put it nearby so that the birds, when they come into your garden, they can read it and they can see what they can have to eat in your house. What do you think? Super idea. I'd love to see your little menus for the birds. Now, to do that as well, you will need a piece of paper, crayons, pens, whatever you've got to make it really jazzy, decorate it. You could draw some birds, you can use your phonics and your sign map to write what it is that you're going to feed your birds and you can draw some pictures. And if you're even cheeky, you could put some prices on there, couldn't you? You could charge your birds. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the bird, um, how to feed birds if you already have a bird feeder. Now to do this, you're going to need bird food. So I have got some wild seed mixture and you can buy this in most shops. Most shops are selling it. And on the back, it will tell you what ingredients are in your bird food. Be careful if you've got a nut allergy or anyone in your family has a nut allergy, make sure that you don't buy any with nuts in, okay? Just word of warning there. Um, and I've also got some other bird food. This is a berry mix. They're little pellets because we know that bir um, birds like to eat fruit. So I've got them some replacement berries because there's not that many on the trees at the moment. And I'm going to fill up my bird feeders. Come along with me. So I've got my acorn bird feeder and I've also got my um, other bird feeder here where the birds can perch on the little side, okay? So I'm gonna fill one up with the um, pellets and I'm gonna fill one up with the bird seed. I'm going to use the bird seed in this one because it's probably going to stay better in here. So you have to be careful when you're filling up a bird feeder just to make sure that the seed goes inside and it is a bit fiddly, so you might need your adult's help to help you with this. Can you see it all going in? Wow, look, there's lots in there. How much is in there already? It's half full at the moment. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to fill it all the way up to the top, just like that. There we go. And now I'm going to put the lid on. And then what I can do is I can hook that up in just a moment, okay? Next, I'm going to use my berries and I'm going to put, pour those into my acorn bird feeder. So again, you might need your grown up to help you. Can you see? Lots of berries in there. Well, they're not actually berries, are they? They're berry pellets. I'm gonna put a bit more inside. Oops, some of that is falling down on the floor, so just be careful. And then I can use a dustpan and brush to clean it up afterwards. So in the summer, I often put hanging baskets on here, but during the winter time, I've got not got anything on here. So I thought it might be quite nice to put one on here. And then I'm going to put my acorn feeder on my other hanging basket holder, because I don't have any trees in my garden big enough to um, hook them onto. There we go. So I've got my acorn bird feeder and I've got my other one here that the birds can sit on 
And then what I'm going to do with the rest of my bird seed is I'm going to pour a little bit into my bird house. So I'm going to use my bird seed and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in here like that. Okay. Now I hope to I hope you had fun watching me make my bird feeders. Now I'm going to insert a little clip to show you how to make your own if you don't already have the um the bottle or two. I'm not sure what you call them, but if you don't have one of those, you can make it yourself, okay? Welcome to Eco How. Today we're going to be building a bird feeder out of items you might have lying around your house and garden. You'll need the following materials. A plastic bottle with a cap, cleaned and dried, string or twine, two sticks, dowel rods or pencils, and some bird seed. You'll also need the following tools, a drawing pin and a sharp pair of scissors. Those used for cutting nails are great. Towards the bottom of the bottle, use a drawing pin to make two holes on opposite sides. Use the pair of scissors to widen the holes to a width just smaller than the width of your first stick. Push the stick through both holes to form the first perch for the birds. Do the same higher up the bottle, but have the new set of holes at 90 degrees to the first, so when you insert your second perch, they form a cross shape when looked at from below. Use the drawing pin and the scissors to make some drainage holes in the bottom of the bottle. About 4cm above each perch, use the drawing pin once again to make a slight hole and widen it using the scissors. These will be the feeding holes for which the birds can access the seed. The holes should be 7 to 8 millimeters in width, although this will change depending on the size of the bird seed you use. Towards the neck of the bottle, make two more holes opposite one another and thread through a length of string, which will be used to hang up the feeder. Pour in your bird seed and make sure the holes are big enough so the birds can access the food, but small enough so all the seed doesn't pour out onto the ground. Put the lid on the bottle and you're ready to hang up the bird feeder in a tree or other suitable point of attachment, like a washing line. Now sit back and wait for the birds to arrive. It might take a day or two for them to get used to the feeder, 